I'm going to go through some of the other provisions here. Now, I re- fully admit that some of these are going to pertain to you and some of these aren't. So the ones that don't, obviously, we'll get through pretty quickly. But the ones that do is really good to know about. Elimination of the penalty of excess contributions. If we over-contribute to, say, an IRA account, well, that can be, up to this point in time, kind of detrimental because we'd have a 10% penalty to take money out of there to basically right the ship there. But no longer. If we take the money out in a timely fashion, we do not have to pay that 10% penalty. It's just any tax that would be owed on the distribution. So another great element and tool to be planning for. 72T rules have been updated just slightly. Now, if you are, again, prior to 59 and a half, where you're able to take money out of these accounts, the 72T rules have really been beneficial to you. And this is something that when you put the basically uh, this in place, the distributions can come out without that penalty. But there's some very specific rules. And up to this point, you had to take out specific amount of money from those accounts every single year. And we couldn't touch that account ever again until we were able to stop taking those 72T distributions. And what I mean by that is we couldn't, say, move some of the accounts to other places or take more in distributions from those accounts. But now the rules have changed that as long as we maintain the exact same dollar amount, we can take some of the money out of this account and transfer it to other accounts. So now we can go to different accounts, have different ways of growing the assets. But if we maintain that one account, maintain the exact dollar amounts that are coming out of that account as part of the 72T provisions, we will not have any penalties associated with that. And then lastly, we have the emergency savings accounts uh, that have been created. Now, this is another great provision that's out there that now we are able to be growing the money on a tax deferred basis, part of your retirement accounts. But you can also designate some of that into these emergency savings accounts. And you can designate some of your employer match into these accounts as well, so that in case something happens, you have the ability to take out of that. So that's a little bit about the. Uh, savings account there. Then what we want to do, dive into the relief for the retirement plan mistakes. Last element here, required minimum distributions allow that we need to take money out. Yes. But what happens if we don't take enough out? For some reason, we miss taking some of the money out and not all of the required minimum distribution. Well, instead of paying 50% penalty, now we're only paying a 25% penalty. And if we do in a timely manner, you may be reduced even further down to a 10% penalty. Another great element for mistakes that were not intentional. They're just maybe, say, overlooked. Okay, annuity and insurance-related changes. This is some fun, fun changes that have happened here. This one right here is especially important. So the qualified longevity annuities. Now, this has come about only... Uh, really in the last almost 20 years. Actually, slightly less than that, about 15 years that this has been in existence. And these are some great accounts. Now, what these annuities are doing is allowing for, well, retirement accounts to really pay the money out over the course of your lifetime. So just like what an annuity is for, that you can be receiving income over the course of your lifetime, and that income can be growing over the course of your lifetime. But what makes this so important now versus up until this point is the fact that one thing, that they've increased the limits. So now we can put up to $200,000 into these contracts. But the other element here, especially when we're talking about those inherited accounts, the IRAs, the retirement accounts that you received from maybe say your parents, or that you are going to be leaving for your kids or your grandkids as part of inheritance. Now, if we put money into these types of accounts, no longer are we subject to those 10-year windows of time that we need to take the money out. The government has said, yes, we're going to allow this to continue for your lifetime. So if we put money in here, 
This is another great way to continue those stretch provisions that the original SECURE Act did away with. Yes, we can only put $200,000 into there, but that is an additional amount of money, especially for inherited accounts, to actually be looking for as part of how we take money out of these accounts and trying to pay the least amount of tax possible on them. Okay. Aggregation of annuitized contracts. Last element here. As you can tell, there's a lot here, but they all do mean something. And the annuitized contracts are ones that you've given up control and ownership over. So we put $100,000 into an annuity. We gave it to an annuity company and they basically said, we're going to pay you that $1,000. But if something ever happened to you, that money is gone. That's what an annuitized contract is. And that's really different than if you're taking a withdrawal benefit or an income benefit. So annuitized contracts were something that were some of the original provisions of annuities. But what is so important about this is that now those contracts, which are not part of your estate anymore, can still be used to pay for required minimum distributions. So this actually may be really beneficial for you if you have a a large estate to reduce the size of your estate for taxation reasons, especially for estate taxes, but then also have that money really be paying for the required minimum distributions. And that alone could really be an element to lower your overall taxes. So not to be overlooked. Obviously, there are some reasons not to do them and some reasons to do them, but how they are now eligible to pay for those required minimum distributions is actually really quite interesting. And then student loans can be matched by your employer as well. So you can be putting money away for student loans and the employer can match the amount of money you put away. All right. Well, that's a lot of the provisions there. One that has not changed And it's a very, very big element here. The backdoor Roth. You see, really, when we talk about how to put money away to the tax-free elements of the Roth IRAs, if you are a high-income earner and are over the limits to put money in there, you can't do that. And if you're over those limits, well, we can't put money away into a traditional IRA that's can have those deductions. So we have to put money into a tax, into a non-tax deductible IRA. Well, if we do that, we can still actually convert into a Roth, even if you're over the limits and put money away into the tax-free element of the Roth. That has not changed. So even if you're over the limits, you can still put money into Roth IRAs with these backdoor Roth provisions. Okay. A lot there. Let's kind of take a step back, take a breather. Planning opportunities behind this. We want to take a look at where you're at today. This is something that you can be doing as well. So where you really want to start here and when you're thinking through these laws, take a look at where you're at today. So assess where you're at for the investments, and then what that means for your overall net worth. Well, we can also be taking a look at your income streams as well. And we can be taking a look at not only your social security, now when that kicks in, maybe you still had some working income for part-time work, consulting work, but you also have the required minimum distributions. And we can start mapping out just if we stayed on this trajectory without doing anything, where we're at. Well, what we can do then is start looking at the small changes that can occur. Maybe we do have one of those tax cliffs that I was talking about here, where we have the taxable income that's really gone down because we stopped working, but we have not kicked in with Social Security yet. So if we can reach into the future and we can grab some of that taxation money from the future with the required minimum distributions and pay that tax today and convert into the Roth IRAs, we're going to change the income. And so what we do then is start putting side-by-side comparisons. And this is the mathematical comparisons. And we call this the probability of success. So your plan may not look that great today, but if we make some small tweaks and changes, what that's going to do is mathematically 
if done correctly, we can actually increase the probability of success, lower the overall risk of the account and on the tax adjusted basis, and lower how much tax that you're going to be paying. So with that's the case, then we can start making some different elements and some different plans. And it's all based upon the math. So it's not just based upon guessing or I think. It's based upon the math behind it. And so when we take a look at where we're at today and start looking at those tax buckets and brackets, now we can start to say, how can we start filling in, smoothing out your overall tax plan over the course of the years of retirement and better yourself, better your family, and better your community and your and your company just by doing so. So what that looks like then is that every one of you are going to be on the mountain, whether we're building your wealth and how we're looking at those contributions that we initially talked about, whether we're starting to protect our wealth, so wealth preservation and how we can look to really start to do some changes with the income streams now to set yourself up for the future. Or if we're on the wealth distribution side of the mountain and how we're taking money out of those accounts and the planning behind it. But the question then is really what side of the mountain are you on? Now here at Lions Wealth, we really are striving at that wealth protection and the wealth distribution side to figure out how we can be communicating more wealth that's tax-free and tax-free income in the future. Now, to do that, just because you are on this webinar today, what I am offering is a very, very interesting opportunity here to go through and dive into these new provisions, the SECURE Act 2.0 provisions as it pertains to your overall wealth plan. And this is going to be a two meeting consultation that we are offering to you. So what this looks like then is that we have the discovery meeting. So this is a meeting where we start taking a look at where you're at today, the overall net worth, where we're at for income. And we start looking at where you want to go in the future. So again, all the different income streams that are part of there, when we're going to be taking cruises or vacations, when we're going to be buying that house, selling the one you're in, all those different details. And out of that, we're going to be putting together the detailed comparison, what I call the gaps finder. Well, what that is, the second meeting, is we're going to take a look at all those different elements that we were talking about. Wealth preservation, wealth transfer, wealth uh, and charitable giving is off of that, wealth enhancement, wealth protection. All these areas are going to be a piece of that. Tax mitigation, social security. Well, all of that comes out in the gap finder meeting. But we take a look at to see if there's any gaps that exist. And we look to see the best strategies of how to fulfill those gaps and help you to improve your overall probability of success. So that's another element that's going to come out of these two meetings, the probability of success. And we're going to be working to create the best mathematically possible probability of success for you and for your family. Now, that is a $3,000 value going through those two meetings there. But also, as part of taking us up on this webinar offer here, we're going to throw in a couple more elements here. First one is the capital gains harvester. Now, this calculator is a great calculator to look at the capital gains and to strategically start picking and choosing which ones to harvest and which ones are going to be most advantageous tax-wise for you. That's $149 value that we're going to be giving you as part of this meeting. Now, the second element there, two retirement white papers. Now, on the Social Security, excuse me, uh, the SECURE Act 2.0, and how to relates to your overall retirement. That right there is a $35 value. And then we also are going to have the Elite Wealth Planning Book. This is a book that the high net worth individuals and couples go through and how they look at their wealth and the strategies that they use to protect their wealth from taxes. This is going to be a revolutionary book for you that you can be reading and using as part of your own strategies now. The elite performing uh, high net worth 
couples and what they work with as part of their overall wealth plan now is available to you. So that book is also available. That's an $89 value. So when we take a look at this, the two meetings that we talked about, the discovery meeting to take a look at where you're at today and that gap finder meeting to identify gaps and to figure out how we can be filling those gaps and ultimately working on the probability of success to improve that. Plus, we have the capital gains harvester calculator, the uh, $149 value, the $35 value for the retirement white papers, and the elite wealth planning book is all going to be available for you today. Well, that is something that you can be signing up for right now. On here, lionswell.com forward slash contact. Lionswell.com forward slash contact. And what I want you to do is to go there. And in there, there's going to be a section for your name, your contact information. And there's going to be a message section. On that message section, I want you to put the words secure 23. Secure 23. Now, what that's going to basically uh, be telling us is that you are on this webinar. And just for our thanks for you attending this webinar, we are going to give you all of the two meetings, the probability of success, and the white papers, the capital gains harvester, and the elite planning book. That's a $3,275 value for you. But we're going to give it to you complimentary. You will not have to pay a single dime for this, but only if you go to lionswealth.com forward slash contact and in the message section, put in secure 23. What to expect in the next coming days after you do this, either myself or my team will get in touch with you. And we are going to set up that initial discovery meeting. And then we'll have a follow-up email that will basically be giving you all the information to collect for this meeting so that we can be going through the details and make it a very efficient use of both of our times. So we can be looking at that discovery meeting and identifying where you're at today so we can really prepare well for that gap finder meeting and how we can be benefiting and improving your overall probability of success with the new SECURE Act 2.0 laws, provisions, and most importantly, rules on how we can be shifting money to the tax-free elements. With that, I thank you for being part of this webinar, and I look forward to seeing you in our discovery meeting.